by. Walk by. Who's preaching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interlord sight of soon by Lucy. By Lucy. Um, you see that it just emerged after you were born, isn't it? Before you or after you were born? Before. I feel that it just emerged in 1985, before or after. Before, even before. <laughs> really? Okay, usually occur in the age patient with really, really low CD4 count. Really, really low CD4 count. It's in fact, intestinal epithelial cell, usually in duodenum and jejunum. You can see that this is epithelial cell, and this is nucleus. This is a group of spore. It's spore forming here over the nucleus, and then it rupture later. This is enterocytosome by Lucy and, and encephalitosome intestinally. There's a two species called intestinal microspoliosis. But the most common one is is. Enterocytosome. This is a um, prevalent study of microsporidiosis in Thailand. And you can see that it up to 30.3, 33.3, one fourth of them, something like that. Now you can use PCR. That gives you the more definitive diagnosis. Not just intestinal microspolidiosis, it can cause keratitis. For the keratitis, not just in HIV AIDS, it's in healthy people. The healthy people that got soil or dirt into the eye might get microsporidia and cause keratitis. Can you give me an example of organism cause Causing keratitis. Microsporidia? Any protozoa cause keratitis? Hmm? Acantamoeba, yes. Acantamoeba keratitis. This is microsporidia keratitis. For the diagnosis, because it is produced really, really small pores, usually one to two microns. In the past, we used electron microscope. In the past, we used electron microscope, and you see the spore like that, and you see the coil polar filament here, coil polar filament, and this is coil polar filament. And you can tell that is a um, microsporidia spore but very expensive, 3,000, and take maybe two weeks. And not every institute got it. Do we have micro EM? No, we used to have one. Now we get rid of it. And we can use staining method, but this is the staining method for fungus very non-specific. You cannot tell the species. And you can use specific staining. This is what we call cam comatose. Anybody look at the cam comatose staining microsporidia in the morning? Microsporidia, cam comatose staining. There's a tiny spore that you see it, something like that. So, the chromatrope stain bright violet in the background and cram stain polar filament inside. When you look at the spore, this is one micron spore, you will see belt, belt, belt like appearance, belt, belt, you know belt, 
thing to be in, you know, belt? Yes, belt. It's a belt like appearance. It's a belt like appearance. You will see belt like appearance on the spore. And you can say that, oh, my first word is spore. Stem chromatophore stands for, it's a very really small spore. Chromatophore stands light violet in the background. And gram stands polar filament inside and look like belt. <laughs> there are also immunospecific standing but not available in the market. There are also Pichia, which you can tell species. You can tell genus, species, and subspecies. So this day, if you want to diagnose microsporidia, this is the, mm, maybe not the gold standard yet, because not every lab using it. Most of the, most of the lab just claim it. But this may be give more definitive for the diagnosis like that. For the treatment option, for enterocytosone, there is no effective drugs. For encephalitosone, we can use albendazole. Why can we use albendazole? Albendazole. Familiar, albendazole. Have you heard of it? Albendazole. Hmm? Yes. Antihistamines drug. Why can we use albendazole for microsporidia? It is not helminth. It's protosua. Why? Why? Why can we use a better soul to kill the encephalitosone? It is not helmin, it is protosua. Do you know the action of a better soul? Inhibit microtubule synthesis. Inhibit microtubule synthesis. Do they have microtubule synthesis here? Polar filament, isn't it? Hmm. For colitis, ocular microsporidiosis is a topical fung. Tumachilin is an antifungal agent. That's so. Yes. Any question? Any question? Yes. Good, good. พรุ่งนี้พรุ่งนี้พรุ่งนี้ทําอะไรอ่ะพรุ่งนี้มีแลบเช้าใช่ไหมถึงสิบโมงป่ะแล้วสิบโมงขึ้นขึ้นสสทป่ะขึ้นไปทํา TBL ขึ้นไปทํา TBL ถึงบ่ายสองขึ้นไปทํา TBL ถึงบ่ายสองแล้วก็เรียนต่อแอนตี้ก็กินแบบนี้กินที่แบบแกกินนี่แหละแกสามารถกินได้เลยไม่ต้องลงไปไหนถ้าแกกินอย่างนี้ได้แกก็อยู่ข้างบนได้อ่ะแล้วก็เสร็จแล้วก็เป็นแอนตี้โปรโตสัวแอนตี้โปรโตสัวมีชั่วโมงเดียวเพราะฉะนั้นจะว่างตั้งแต่บ่ายสามเนาะว่างตั้งแต่บ่ายสามกลับบ้านไหม